Recently, I've been waking up with anxious energy, in limbo. Most of the day, just spent in a tailspin with my thoughts, asking myself, what am I doing with my life? Am I living it to the fullest? Am I doing enough? I've been consumed by thoughts about my life now, my life in the future, my life in the past. Just one big pot of life questions, stirring and stirring, brewing existential soup. But as I've observed this heightened anxiety, I notice something interesting. There's this underlying knowing that I'm just moving through something, that my worries are only transient, not necessarily the truth, and maybe entirely fictional. Even though I don't know what the future holds, I've been holding on to the guidance that finds me now, in how I feel, and in what lights me up. I know there's a lot that I don't know, but I guess I've been seeking my own permission to be in the limbo state, to embrace the unknown, to embrace the void. Because the void is as much a space for expansion as it is for retraction and detachment from our current reality and who we are right now. I'm just learning to soften to the void. I actually started watching these manifestation videos about the law of assumption a few nights ago and it literally turned everything upside down for me, but in the best way. Basically, the law of assumption says you can tune into the energy of your desired reality by feeling what you would feel in that desired state of being, and by doing so, that reality is then manifested into your life. These are some of the thoughts that this has conjured. Like, instead of being in this anxious striving, always wanting more or always wanting something else, this kind of state of lack, I think that really falling in love with the little details of everyday life um, I think is so important and holds so much power because that is where everything is at in our everyday life, in the process. It's okay to have those anxious thoughts about the future sometimes, but it's even better when I can take those anxious thoughts and allow them to clarify for me what I really need in the moment. Um, so when I have this anxiety, thinking of the desired feelings that I wish to call forward um, really helps me a lot. So anyways, that's the, that's the vibe right now. I just felt really excited waking up today and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna make a video about turning anxiety into living your life with more presence and with more compassion because life is here right now, our life is in the process, our life is in the unfolding, and we can tune into the feeling state of our desired realities at any point in time, and um, I guess this video is just me doing that. <laughs> I literally looked away for one second and it was almost overflowing. I woke up today very tired, but I'm getting ready to make a big salad um, to take to work, so it'll be good. I'm happy to be able to have a little extra time this morning to prep some stuff and just take my time. Not too much time, but take my time uh, making some salad. It's like a peach, quinoa, kale, carrot, cabbage salad. So it's a summer salad. Important is I want to discuss the law of assumption as compared to the law of attraction. 
Just look at my Apple Watch tan, it's so bad. I'm on like my third podcast episode about Law of Assumption and he just um, recited a quote by Neville Goddard Every fact is a dream made visible and that just that just kind of stuck with me it really impacted me just to think that everything that we define as as factual, as real um, was once a dream, was once a mental conception, a thought just kind of floating out there and it was anchored into our reality and created into a fact and it just, it makes me feel like so much is possible and and so much is possible and I think getting on little existential universal kicks I guess is is always really refreshing because it reminds you of how powerful we are and how juicy and complex and mysterious this existence is and while that can be terrifying at times it's also like incredibly inspiring and energizing in a way so anyway i just wanted to highlight that one because that is really good every fact is a dream made visible every fact is a dream made visible Interesting. I think it was just one of those like wonky weird days where the absurdity of being a person just kind of hits you like everything at work was kind of falling apart all of our equipment decided to like break in multiple different ways um, all at once and I think we were like presented with a choice of either like falling apart and you're like cracking under that pressure or to just breathe through it and like trust that this is not the end of the world and kind of laugh at the absurdity of it all and luckily we chose the latter and I think that it just proved itself to be true that our perception is so powerful um, like even in thinking about my own anxious thoughts over the past few days about the future I just realized that like in these states of like anxious imagining it's not necessarily the situation itself that I fear that we might fear but like how we'll show up in it like what we'll feel how we'll feel how we decide to perceive and define a situation like 
that's a big unknown that sometimes I guess gives me anxiety like how will I feel in this unknown future because I just want myself to be good and I think that we can find a sense of like groundedness when we choose to perceive our lives and react to our lives in a way that's most supportive of our humanity, most supportive of our well-being, most supportive of our hearts continuing to expand and open to receive more love and care and, and deep nurturance and I don't know, for some reason today in this like weird malfunctioning kind of made it all click of just how powerful perception is and how perception is literally everything it's what makes a moment in time feel like all-consuming or simply become a blip you know in the grand scheme of things and perception is our power like perception is how we create and um, how we either support ourselves or confine ourselves how we yeah it's just i don't know it's something very magical i think and i'm going to get some sleep thinking about this how i can continue to perceive my life and even the unknowns unknown feelings unknown situations um with more excitement and more trust and more lightness and i think just simply inviting those feelings is enough to make them real so here's to cheers cheers to that here's to that and cheers to that and good night because i'm very tired So I got invited to this little house party. It's not like a house party, it's more like a house show. Um, someone really cool that I'm getting to know invited me. She'll be singing um, at this house party. And honestly, I was like, I don't know. I don't know because I think I've always had anxieties about getting to know people and like going to social events by myself and without like, um, a very clearly defined purpose like i'm fine with going to events um like webinars or like seminars or um things like that but like business related things i guess or things that are related to like passions that i have but this is like a socializing event and it's my first house party invite ever um and i was like felt so tired today after work but i thought I'll take a chance on myself and I'll put myself in a new uncomfortable situation or what I would define as uncomfortable typically and I'm just going to go and like even if I don't talk to anyone or no one talks to me I'm still gonna go and like enjoy the music and enjoy myself which is the most important thing but I will set the intention to have 
really positive and wonderful um, time there and connect with people um, if that is in the cards, but um, <laughs> I just take it a chance on myself and on life, putting myself outside of my comfort zone. So we're going to do that. Um, I guess I'm going to get ready as well. I don't really know how to do makeup, um, but I have some concealer. I, this is definitely concealer, and I have some mascara and some blush. I'm gonna do that. And I don't know if I'm doing this in the opposite order. Is there an order to makeup? I don't know. Okay, that's fine to me. We're going to a party, a house party. Like, what is there to lose? <laughs> Even if I'm like a little uncomfy, I think that it'll be okay. It's okay to, and it's important to put yourself in new scenarios where you can learn more about yourself and what you're capable of, and also potentially connect to cool people. And I'm just embracing my life as an adult because I think I often kind of feel like I froze at like 18 in a way like I don't feel like I'm 22 because I don't really put myself in new situations um like that often like social situations especially it's and I feel like adulthood is such a at least for me it feels like my idea of adulthood is very contrasted to um what I currently experience, I guess. I'm just, I'm just not really that social, but my, my battery is very tiny. My social battery is very tiny, so it is filled and drained uh, really quickly, but like I said, <laughs> we're taking a chance, maybe. And I have, as you saw before, a little ribbon. 